Hello viewers, this is Dr. K. Rajshekar. Today we are going to focus on one of the issues that we have been seeing in the news. So recently we have noticed that India has been, Indian drug market especially is in the lens. What is the issue about this and uh, where is the problem and also what kind of solutions we can find through this. I believe this is a very important uh, aspect given that India which is known as pharmacy of the world has come under scanner because lately we have seen in some countries the drugs that have been exported have been you know caused deaths of children almost about 70 children in died in west african country called gambia so gambia decided to put you know more strict control measures on these pharma products which are being imported from india what is the issue behind that what's going wrong in indian pharma industry let's understand that First of all, India is well known as I was mentioning is a pharmacy hub of the world. That is how we refer to it. There are so many things that you notice with respect to India like the amount of generic drugs that go from India which have 20 percent share in the share in the global market, 20 percent share in the global market. We have almost 2 percent of the GDP coming from these drugs. So great. Also, we have noticed that during COVID-19 time, 50 percent of the vaccines that go out to the world come from India. And also, domestic market wise, if you notice as per economic survey 2023, we generate roughly 41 billion dollars just from this sector. And we allowed 100 percent of the FDI, foreign direct investments in automated route to create what is called green field pharmaceuticals, meaning startups, especially those that start from scratch. So we have definitely giving great amount of boost to pharma industry. But the recent problem is kind of a backlash to India. Why? Because you know people like we have seen children dying from these kind of drugs. So what is the problem? Where is the problem lying here? Current scenario if you see in India. The issues wise, the problem is lying with at many different levels. What are those levels? So exporting countries like we have seen Nigeria, Cameroon, Sri Lanka, Gambia, Uzbekistan have suffered, have seen these problems. And we have noticed that the problem is mostly what people have said is something to do with the regulatory aspect of Ministry of Health. And also under Ministry of Health, we have CDSCO or Central Drug Standard Control Organization. It has been criticized not regulating it properly or not regulating enough. So let us see the regulatory process in the country. The regulatory process in the country depends on few things. We have Age Old Drugs and Cosmetics Act 1940, Age Old Drugs and Cosmetics Act. As per this act, what really happening? This under this act, we have established Central Drug Standard Control Organization, which is responsible for ensuring the safety and control of any issues related to the drugs. So before they go into the market, these organization have to uh, identify those problems and only permit them after going through this meticulously. And we have ICMR, Indian Council of Medical Research. It is an apex body in the medical field, which provides the you know, required assistance in terms of research and evidence based work, so that we know the side effects can be minimized even before they go for the approvals. And then both central governments and state governments, of course, as we have talked about, central government helps through CDSCO to deal with these kind of problems and they help, they take the help of state governments. State governments do conduct inspections and the required, you know, uh, approvals are being taken here, licenses are given here with the help of state governments. So central state governments with the help of CDSCO under Drugs and Cosmetics Act are dealing with this. Okay, so this is how approval process takes place in India and if you connect these dots, what could be the reasons? We have such a procedure in the country but still things are going wrong. Issue is mostly inadequate inspections. Inspections are not happening regularly, not enough. Monitoring that we see here and delay, too much of a delay in issuing those kind of things is also seen as a problem here and also strict enforcement is required. In addition to that, we hear something called pharmacovigilance. It is a science of understanding the adverse effects of drugs. Not enough studies that are happening in the country can also be seen as a problem here. Plus, 
transparency and uh, providing information to the stakeholders is also not happening in the manner that it should and also we are missing or lagging behind in terms of proper training measures. So, these things seems to be the biggest issue with respect to the drug releasing drugs into the market. Of course, on top of that you will notice countries like Gambia, they do not have their own testing mechanism, they, they cannot afford to do that. So, these drugs actually they go with the trust that Indian makers are taking proper care. So, this is something that need to be addressed. How, how can we address this issue? Look at the, the way forward related to that. Solution that you can find mostly based on the problems that we have seen. Streamlining the regulatory process. We want these processes to be streamlined to a level that they properly go through these steps and they do not miss the problem that we are seeing because there are many steps that are involved here and many agencies that are part of it. They have to thoroughly do the job. This has to be streamlined. Enhancing the inspection and monitoring, that is that's a probably a most uh, obvious or expected step here. So, we have to do proper inspection and monitoring and also we have to strengthen the enforcement process in the country. On top of that, we have 80 year old policy in place which has to of course, it has been amended many times, but we need to bring a new policy that is what current government is thinking. We have seen that government mentioning that in this season, they probably are going to launch a new policy. This is called New Drugs, Medical Devices and Cosmetics Bill 2023. This is going to hopefully bring lot of changes, not many details are available yet on this, but the policy may address majority of the issues that we are facing. So, that hopefully we can actually bring required changes and bring back you know the, the kind of charisma that India had in this field with respect to exporting drugs at cheaper cost to especially third world countries which really need of them. Right. So, this is a problem and this is what we would look into uh, with respect to solving this problem or at least suggesting a uh, few things that are required to address this issue. What is the exam relevance from this? So, any competitive exam you are preparing for that, things may be asked factually like uh, in recent reports, we have seen that this country has faced a problem by using imported drugs from India and most specifically this is about cough syrups that have gone from India. If at all they ask specific problem here, they may mention about or they may talk about certain solvents, organic solvents that have been used here are excess. They are at a concentration where they can damage kidneys of children. That is what seems to be the major problem. Or they can ask questions related to describe the describe the issue related to the you know, drug makers in India and drug supplies in India. Okay, what are the reasons behind that? What kind of you know uh, system that we have in place in India? What kind of measures that we can take? So, this could be a descriptive answer question that is possible or you may be just using this idea to do the value addition to India's pharmaceutical scenario or drug scenario, right. I hope uh, this is useful to you. Thank you.